Hi guys, my name is Shane and today I'm going to be doing a short tutorial clip on how to disassemble a HP G62 laptop. Um, this is the laptop here. So to start with guys, first of all we're going to remove the battery. Because underneath the battery there are seven screws. And next we're going to take off, there's two covers, underneath there's the, the RAM, there's five screws in the two covers, they don't come out, they're attached to the, to the covers. Okay guys, um, there are a number of screws in the back, uh, all of which will have to be removed if we want to take out the, the motherboard. Guys, there are some screws underneath the two panels which will have to be taken out as well. There is... There, to take out the hard drive, there's two screws, one each side. The hard drive should just lift up and it's attached with a cable here. No, your memory should just, there's two little levers, it should just slot right out when you push them each side. Now we'll remove the screws from underneath the battery. There are seven in total. These screws are uh, smaller than the rest of the screws from around, so I just take note of where you remove them from, just for when you're putting it back together.
Hey guys, um, there is a wireless card which has one screw in it. It's here. Um, there is also two cables going into the card. It's good to take note of which cable is where. There's a black and a slightly grey one. Just take note of which one is each side. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to remove the CD drive, which once all the screws are removed, it should just slot right out. No. Um, the connection for where the hard drive was, it should just be able, you should just be able to remove it from the board itself. It's a clip on, it should just remove out. Now, uh, next we're going to remove the keyboard. Now, once all the screws are removed, the keyboard uh, should be able to be just pried up. Um, I just use it's a little guitar pick. Just works well for going under. and you can remove it from the top because at the bottom the clips they slide under a bit more so once you have the top open it should just slide up and then we turn it over and the ribbon for the keyboard it's just it's held in place here there's just a clip it'll just clip up the way and that should be that That's your keyboard, if you want to replace your keyboard. Now, underneath the keyboard, we have um, just one screw underneath here. Yeah, just this one here. Now what you want to do is, there's a few more connections under the keyboard and you just want to remove them before you take off the cover. Now, once you have uh, just removed the cables, there is uh, four cables that just have to be removed. The clips just clip up and you just remove the cable. Uh, after that, we are going to take off the cover. Once again, I'll use my little guitar pick and just kind of shimmy around the cover. that now um, there are some screws on the motherboard which have to be removed 
there is uh, there's screws there's two screws here on the board itself um, to remember where the screws go there's a little MB motherboard beside it I don't know if you can see it there and that's because there's a lot of there's a lot of screw holes on the board so just, just don't get mixed up where the screw come out of Now, um, there are connections on the motherboard which have to be removed before you can take up the board. There are uh, two here. There's one here for the screen. There's another one here, three, four, five. We have five that I can see. Uh, next we are going to remove the screen as the motherboard cannot be taken out while the hinges are still here. So there are uh, two, two screws on each side so we'll remove them. Now there's one more screw beside the fan which has to be removed as well. And we also have to remove uh, the cable for the DC jack which is just over here. Now we should be able to just lift out our motherboard. Ah, 